Hello folks, this is your 2017 February March paper 2 2 and the question number is 3. The first question reads uh, define velocity so it is the rate of uh, uh, displacement of a body. You do not need to use the word change because the displacement itself means that there is change in position. So in number B, uh, we have a case uh, in which a car travels in a straight line up a slope. So this is the slope and car is like this. Mass is 850 kg. Let us highlight this thing. And, and, and uh, the velocity is this much right now. The car has mass 850 kgs and travel with a constant speed. Let us uh, consider this word, constant speed of 9.0 meter per second. The car's engine exerts a force of, uh, on the car of a 2 0.0 kilonewton. So force applied by the uh, force applied by the engine. Actually, we write it as F due to engine equal to 2.0 kilonewton, which is 2,000 newton of the slope. A resistive force F D due to friction and air resistance opposes the motion of the car. So there definitely should be some sort of opposing forces. The variation of F D with the speed V of the car is as shown. So as uh, the uh, speed increases, the opposing force also increases, as shown by the graph. And the graph is not linear, so that means uh, uh, they don't have a proportional relationship. So there is no sort of uh, proportionality here. Now, in the next page, the question says that, question says that, Sirin explain whether the car is in equilibrium as it moves up the slope. So since it is said that the velocity is uniform, since it is said that the velocity is uniform, uh, what we must have is, so uniform velocity means uniform, uniform V, V means that, means that, 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 uh, resultant force, resultant force on the car, resultant force on the, on the car, car equal to zero, so, 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 the car the car is is in equilibrium so the car should be in equilibrium now consider the forces that act along the slope so uh, using data from figure 3.2 so 3.2 means uh, this uh, graph here using data from here uh, from here uh, we have to determine the component of the weight of the car that acts down the slope so we have to find the component which uh, acts down the slope. So this is, let us say this is F component, F component. So this is the driving force here, driving force. This is the driving force of the car because of the engine. So it is Fe. So we need to find, uh, <coughs> find the component of the weight of the car that acts down the slope. So what we have is, is first of all, let us find the opposing force. Opposing force due to friction and air resistance. <coughs> so that requires this requires. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, here the velocity is equal to nine meter per second. Nine meter per second. So that's why the opposing force is. It gives here 0 0.40 kilo newton. So the opposing force due to air is. So F D is equal to is equal to 0 0.40 kilo newton. That's equal to 0 0.40 into 10 to the power 3 newton. Then <clears throat> our equation should have the force due to engine minus minus this FD minus the component of this thing <coughs> down the slope FC should be equal to mass into A. So this follows from <coughs> the relation of second law resultant force equal to MA and it is given that since the speed is constant here the A should be equal to 0. So that means what we can have is, have is FC should be equal to, C should be equal to FE minus FD. And that's equal to, the value of FE is equal to, as we have written here, it is 2000 Newton. So it is uh, 2000 Newton, 2000 minus, it is 0 0.40 into 10 to the power 3. And this comes to be equal to, if I use calculator, it comes to be 1.6 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. So the component of the weight down the slope is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. Now, uh, another says, 
show that the power output of the car is 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 watts so let us do the calculations so the power now should be equal to should be equal to uh, the driving force which we have got a force due to engine into the velocity so the car belongs to the the engine belongs to the car so the power output of the car should be equal to that of the engine itself and that's equal to fe to v equal to fe is equal to 2000 into v is equal to we are given the velocity as uh, 9.0 meter per second so that's why it is 9.0 and the value comes to be equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 watt which is exactly as the required condition now the car now travels along a horizontal horizontal ground not slope at all here the output of the power of the car is maintained at this thing so this is power output equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 watt the variation uh, of the resistive force ft acting on the car like this Calculate the acceleration of the car when its speed is 15 meter per second. So, velocity is equal to 15 meter per second here. So, we have to find the value of FD here, opposing force here. So, let's uh, bring it here once again. So, when it is a 15 meter per second, the value of FD is equal to, this thing should be equal to, it is a 0 0.65, 0 0.66. So, at this time, the value of FD is equal to, is equal to 0 0.66 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. Yeah. So now, this is the uh, power of the engine. So the driving force given by the engine is equal to the force driving at this time is equal to power of engine by the velocity. It's because, because power is equal to F into V. So that's equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power 4 divided. The velocity now is uh, 15. So it's equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. Newton. Now, so to find the cal uh, acceleration, what you have to do is we have to apply the second law equation once again. The resultant force there is now, uh, since it is horizontal, the component of uh, gravitation or weight is not there. So only forces there is uh, F driving, F driving minus F D, F D, F D is equal to mass into acceleration. So this gives us A is equal to F driving minus F D whole divided by this mass. F driving is 1.2 into, into 10 to the power 3 minus F D right now is as we have found from here. It is 0 0.66 into 10 to the power 3 and the mass of the car is, car is as given here it is 850 kgs. So mass of the car is 850 kg. So when we do it in a calculator, its value comes to be equal to 0 0.635 meter per second square. So the answer is 0 0.635. And if you want to write in 2SF, the answer should be equal to 0 0.64 meter per second square. So that solves the, all the problems of this thing.